So the idea with this is, with how large the algae is, and it's just gigantic, that would take a lot of space in a robot to try and intake in and then manipulate it inside the robot and then push back out. So our idea is to basically corral the algae and then push it straight into the processor using this mechanism here. So Essentially what we're trying to do is use a compliant wheel up here that's spinning backwards. Um, and so what this will do is these will work kind of like gears. And so this will cause this to start rotating. And when it starts rotating, it'll pin be pinned between these two points. And so it'll want to rotate and rotate and pop up and follow into here, right into the processor. Our hope is that because the, the, the dimensions here are only about 18 inches, are only about 18 inches, that will allow this to kind of follow an arc that's really close around this point. And so we won't have to worry about the tight tolerances on here of only two inches. Here's a little jig that simulates the processor. This plate is just a little bit over seven inches. Um, it's what we had. And then here is our end bit with a couple of compliant wheels on a powered axle. And so the idea is once we spin these up and then the robot drives forward, it will go naturally into the processor. So here's uh, what that looks like. Something like that.